Hey guys, sorry for the long wait, even though clearly I just felt bored. So I am going to be doing a review on the NECA 1954 Godzilla, which I'm assuming this is a bootleg. So, um, yeah, let's review it. So the first thing I noticed, it, we're going to start off with a sculpt and paint. Now, the sculpt and paint is all right. It's accurate to the, the film model. It's accurate to the suit. Um, it's very accurate. As you can see, it's very accurate. Um, painting on the door plates is not that good, but for a $20 figure, it's pretty good. Uh, door plates, looks, door plates on the tail kind of go silly. The toenails look nice. Not that bad at all. And the hands on mine are fine. They do not look messy at all, unlike, you know, the monster arts. Tail also, also they're scratched. However, my main complaint, as you see, the eyes. The eyes are derpy. One eye is looking straight. One eye is looking the other way. Yeah, that isn't a good thing. That's not good at all. It's not that good. It's really bad because I don't know why and the teeth look kind of weird. Of course, I broke the teeth and broke the tail. That's why I'm assuming this is a bootleg. It's a, it's a bootleg for a lot of reasons and that's why I want to get the reissue because the reissue has good paint. Um, good paint, has a beam accessory, it has a nice box compared to this. And this is the original, by the way, so there is no beam effect. That's why there's no accessory. Which is sad, sad, sad. Now, articulation. Head is on a ball joint, which is really, really good. Um, bit limited, but not that much. Neck is a bit limited, so it's kind of wonky. He can look up and down. Jaw can open a little bit wider, and I don't think the original was like this. No way in hail was it like this. So, yeah. No way in hell is it like that jaw. Um, body, the arms are pretty good. Ball joints at the arms, not that limited. In and out, bend at the elbow. And some swivel at the arms, so of course. And then we have a swivel at the hands, which has a ball joint hand here and hinge joint fingers. The waist I'm very surprised with. It has a lot of range and move of movement compared to all the other NECA Godzillas that I have. Which, man, it has a lot of range of movement. It can go up, it can go here, it can go down or up twist side to side and lean side to side so pretty good legs bend this is the limited part so they're very limited and i'm scared if i break them because the quality the legs are very very stiff for me and the ball joints on the feet are pretty good and the tail being for segments is Kind of limited, especially that this is a bendy wire. Which, I don't like the bendy wire at all, and like the ball joints on the others. So as you can see, this figure is pretty good. It's pretty good for the value. That's why it's pretty good for the value, and that's why I recommend it. Now, I'm going to go compare it to the Bandai. The Bandai Creations figure, which I don't like it. Now this was a vat. Thank God I got this for Christmas. It just I don't know if it's a bootleg or not. I think it is, but as long as I have a NECA 1954, this figure is not good at all. I mean, just look at it. And plus, it's the wrong color, and it's not, you know, accurate. So, that's why for this. Plus the value for like $40 Canadian, 
or 30 or 30 20 to 30 dollars on like USA it's a pretty good price so final thoughts I recommend this figure for the value and I and if you want an, an articulated 1954 Godzilla this is your only chance to get one cuz sadly they're not gonna make any more cuz Toho or some playmates who wants to screw us all up correct and they still and well yeah you have to I recommend getting this figure it's probably one of my top 20 favorite Godzilla figures anyways um, it's bringing you to an I'll see you later with the next review, which I don't know what it will be.